Lucas Review. Today I'm reviewing the Volkswagen Saveiro, a car that you may not find on your streets depending where you live. Talking about interior in the Rolls Fangs, and you'll find that it's quite good. That in case you like VW interiors, which most made of hard plastic and fake leather. But hey, we're talking about a work practical truck here, ain't we? You have storage on the door, steering wheel that comes out of a golf looking like, and you even have uh, a couple of functions here in the middle have your digital display for your infotainment system decent storage from the glove compartment you even have your own behind a bucket seat situation of storage and the best part is the little window that reveals the back two seats almost the same size of a honda civic and a lot of trunk space will get you everywhere you need in a city with everything you need to carry around because it's so compact you think you're driving just a regular sedan, but you look behind you, you have a massive bed that can fit a whole motorcycle in it, three bicycles, or even just a lot of equipment and a lot of gear. The Volkswagen Saveiro is for Brazil, while the F-150 is for United States. Well, in the back, you can tow up to 750 kilograms and you have a 1200 liter bed. First thing you're gonna notice as soon as you get behind the wheel of the Saveiro is the back has no weight to it when driving with no load. So you will find it very difficult to steer through corners at high speeds. But don't worry, this car has only 104 horsepower, so you won't be going that fast. Powered by a 1.6 liter four cylinder, this is a manual transmission car mostly sold in Brazil, which is where this video has been taken. The streets are normally tighter than US roads, making the Severo very agile to go through alleyways, tight corners or tight streets. And here in Brazil we have a lot of compact cars. Most of them are from Volkswagen and some from Toyota, like the Toyota Yaris or the Volkswagen Polo. Our big trucks are the Volkswagen Amarok and the Toyota Hilux. There's not much to the bed besides those hooks that you can hook anything to hold on. I'm holding my plaque right now. And the tail gets not electronically operated, but it's very robust and can take up uh, a lot of weight on it. As well, you got lights for the bed. And this edition comes with alloy wheels, which is not standard. You gotta pay extra for it. There's side scoop for better handling and climbing on too. This car is very interesting to me because there was a couple concept cars that almost went to production in different brands and some that got off the assembly line with the same idea of a sedan with a bed. Some examples are the General Motors with the Montana, Fiat with the Fiat Strada and Ford had a Ford Courier. I tested all those cars and none drive better than the Saveiro itself. Definitely the Saveiro takes the lead when it comes down to being a sedan and a pickup truck at the same time. As you can see in this video, the car is very very pleasant to look at, it's like a beautiful little car and uh, it's almost like impossible to define the feeling which is to be in a car so lower to the floor but it's still a bed in the back. Its competitors don't share the same wheel size. Saveiro has the biggest wheels among all of them. And that really makes the difference when you're going through muddy places and just rocky roads. I'm gonna put a picture in the screen right now, which represents this category of trucks, little trucks. In, there we go. Yeah, that's normal here in Brazil. You will see that often when going through the countryside or even in a city if you just take some roads that are not main. Another thing that Brazilians do to this car often is modifications such as turning the whole bed into a big wow of sound. Plus, they will lower the vehicle to the ground to a standard that they cannot even go over speed bump, making it completely unreliable. But that's the whole deal with it to look very cool, air suspension, loud sounds, and sometimes even nitro. The logo doubles as the handle for the opening. Now let's turn it on and take it for a ride.
favorite part is the handling on gravel or sand. Rocky roads in general are no big deal for the Saveiro. Which is very funny to think of because you're sitting very low to the floor, you still have a very high ground clearance. And to be completely honest, if you are just a single guy or have a girlfriend or something, that's a very good first car. I can tell you how many of my friends got a Saveiro as their first car. So many people look at these cars as a very, very cool vehicle because of the reputation it has built around itself. And 9 out of 10 times that you'll see somebody driving a Saveiro down the road, it's probably gonna be a youngster or something like that. It also has great gas mileage, I mean gas by kilometers, being able to do 11 to 12 sometimes kilometers in one liter. Why don't you go ahead and just give it a like on this video so I can bring you more funny cars from Brazil. Matter of fact, next take I'm gonna be driving in a sand. Why don't you just go ahead and subscribe as well. That's gonna help me a lot. Three, two, one, now subscribe. Sound system doesn't let us down either.